Hey there guys, what's going on? This is Weekly Reviews here with Gamer Fusion, and today guys we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that was just uh, shown off today for uh, for games that are launching for 2014. So let's go ahead and start off with the, uh, the games that they showed off and uh, let's talk about them a little bit. So first one uh, that I have written down here is for Kirby Triple Deluxe. Now, I'm a big Kirby fan. I mean, you guys know that I've liked Kirby for a long time. Uh, he was actually one of my favorite characters for Smash Brothers. Uh, I also used him and uh, Yoshi a couple times, but yeah, anyway. So, Kirby Triple, De uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe actually has, uh, the graphics to me look like they're almost kind of like they were in Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Uh, and I liked, I liked the, uh, the style of the graphics in that game, even though they were uh, very, very pixelated and everything, but I mean, that was around the time, so uh, anyway. So, they showed off a couple features uh, that are going to be in the game, uh, including the new ability where you can be able to suck in like 10 times more than you normally could, uh, and you'll be able to use that in certain areas and stuff like that, and it's super cool. I like that ability. But one of the other cool features that they showed was a Kirby Fighters uh, feature, where you actually have four Kirbys, uh, all different colors, that you can pick and have 10 different uh, copy abilities, uh, and you can fight in Super Smash Brothers style, and I think that that's so cool. So they'll probably have that, not for online or anything, they'll probably have it for just a 3DS download play feature, but it's still pretty cool though. And then of course the other one that they showed off is for a rhythm game, excuse me, uh, with King DDD, which actually looks pretty cool. It's like taking all the music and stuff from the Kirby series and having it so that you do like a ground pound thing on l little drums and like grabbing music notes. It looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. So the next one, uh, one I've actually been waiting for that they've been uh, hiding out on me or hanging on to me for is uh, Yoshi's New Island, which they also showed a new power-up where you can use a super power-up to make Yoshi eat bigger enemies and create a bigger egg. Now, I don't know if the egg is going to make it so that it takes out uh, enemies like how it did, I believe, in the uh, Game Boy Advance version. I can't remember if it was the Game Boy Advance version that did it or if it was the DS version. Uh, I know it was one of those that made it so you can get a bigger egg and you could take out multiple enemies. I, I can't remember which one it was, but I know there was one Yoshi game that did that. Uh, but the game looks really good. It's in that cartoon style, like how the first one from Super Nintendo was. And I love that the original creator is also doing work on it again. So let's just hope that he doesn't do anything like how he did with Yoshi's Story. So anyway, the next one is for old-time GameCube fans of uh, Chibi Robo. We have Chibi Robo Photo Finder, uh, which will be a remake from the GameCube version. It will be remade for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, you can use a special in-game camera, so you'll be using the 3DS camera and everything, and you can use uh, you can use it to actually point at real objects in real time. You can use the... and you can use... excuse me, let me try that again. Using real objects in real time, you can use and will be used for in-game and for music, which is also a really cool feature. And will also feature a challenge called, or challenges called uh, nostalgia challenges. You can earn uh, special uniforms and outfits for Chibi Robo. So that's also another really cool feature. So it's kind of like a DLC kind of thing, but not really. So next we talk about the uh, the Pokemon Bank and the Poke Transporter. Now everybody knows about Poke Bank. Uh, you're going to be able to transfer, or excuse me, not transfer. You're going to be able to store up to 3,000 Pokemon on the actual bank. Uh, and you do have to pay for it, of course, but still, pretty nice feature. And the transporter is going to let you keep your Pokemon and transfer them to be on black and white. You can transfer them on black and white, too. And as well as transferring them on Pokemon X and Y. And the game will be releasing on December 20... Or, excuse me, the apps will both be releasing on December 27th. Now, as well as a uh, special free 30-day uh, trial, if you get those around I believe it's sometime before the end of September of next year you will also get a free syllabi for people who started up on their games and stuff so that's a pretty cool feature I do like that so the next one we have is about Bravely Default which there's a lot of people that are really waiting for Bravely Default to come out here and I'm glad that Nintendo is finally taking the right amount of uh, 
time for fixing this up and making it real nice and everything, trying to make it as good as it possibly can. But they're also going to be using a feature called an SP feature. Uh, when you can close your 3DS system, it'll also feature uh, the street passes. You can also purchase uh, the sleep points, and basically what they'll do is they'll make it so that you can power up your weapons quicker, uh, use them for summoning, and like all these kind of things. And it looks the game looks fantastic. But the best part I'm loving is that if you don't want to have to get the SP points, like if you don't want to have to purchase them from the actual store, you don't have to. They are optional, but you don't have to buy them to continue playing the game. The game will be uh, playable and able to finish without having to go out and buy them. Now, one of the other things that's going to be cool is the game will be releasing on February 7th, which is not terribly long away, and there will also be a demo of uh, a free side story demo that will be released on 3DS in January 2nd. Now, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Wii stuff, or Nintendo Wii U stuff. So, let's go ahead and talk about that one. So, of course, we have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, you'll be facing off against the Snowmads, and as well as having Dixie Kong as a playable side character. And, of course, we all know Cranky Kong will be a playable character as well. And they also showed off one of the new uh, moves called the Kong Pow, uh, that basically whenever you get a hundred bananas it makes it so that it turns enemies into items and the game will be releasing on uh, February 21st and the game looks pretty good uh, I'm not a huge Donkey Kong fan but I do like Donkey Kong so for anybody that is wanting to pick that up definitely be ready on uh, February 21st next game we have is talk about Sonic Lost World including uh, some DLC uh, the only one they did show was one for a Yoshi's Island Zone and it looks cute as anything so you're going to go around as Sonic in a 2D style format and you're going to be going after Yoshi eggs through the whole entire levels. So you have to go through the entire levels and it'll be like in a Yoshi story type uh, setting and it's so, it's so cute. But uh, they're going to be having, so the DLC is actually available right now, so go on your Nintendo Wii U and make sure you download it if you have Sonic Lost World. Now we're going to be talking about Wii Sports Club. Uh, they're going to be showing off a new sport, which of course is golf. Uh, it makes it so that now you can be able to use the uh, the Wii U gamepad to display the ball and showing the gameplay straight on the screen. But also with that, they're going to be including a Famicom level that's included. And you'll also, if you've already played the uh, the 24-hour trial, uh, they will update it again to make it so that you can try it out and you can try out the new golf one. So. And that will also be available right now. Next one we have is about the NES Remix. Now this is actually something I was not expecting. They basically took every single 8-bit game from my childhood and basically decided to remix it in probably the weirdest of all ways. And they included some really interesting ways. Like, I mean, having Donkey Kong and uh, Link trying to go up to uh, get Pauline or Paula or whatever her name is, I cannot remember anymore, I'm so, ugh, I'm like still sick and everything, so I'm just like, ugh, uh, I think it's Paula, I can't remember her name, but I know in the first one that you had to go ahead and play as Mario, and you had to go up there and get to Donkey Kong before uh, time went out and everything, but anyway, so that's one of the other cool things, and it is also available on the Wii U eShop, and all the levels and everything that they show off are altered, so they'll show off like some of the weirdest things ever like they'll have mixes of probably Zelda with Mario stuff and everything and you also have little timestamps and everything too uh, whenever you I guess it's like a little achievement thing which is still pretty cool though so again though it is available now uh, the next one we're going to talk about is Dr. Luigi U which will be for Wii U uh, features a new combo feature uh, unlike the original Dr. Mario uh, it will actually feature the combo feature that changes the color of the next capsule you use next, uh, especially when you're playing against other players, which I played Dr. Mario, I love Dr. Mario, uh, and I wish that there was more Dr. Marios, honestly. I mean, I know they haven't been used anywhere near as much as, like, just the 3D Marios and, like, the uh, the Marios of, like, New Super Mario Brothers and everything, but I, I do hope that they eventually go ahead and start doing some more Dr. Mario stuff, more puzzling stuff with Mario, because, I mean, it's not all just about platforming, but still, anyway. So that game will also be released uh, on December 31st, so be looking forward to that. And you'll be able to also play it straight on the pad, too, so that's also another cool feature. They also revealed 
Rosalina, and Starchild as playable characters in Smash Brothers Wii U. Now, I don't know if they're going to be also including that in the 3DS version or not. If they do, that's going to be incredible. So, how am I? How excited am I about this? I'm pretty excited. Uh, I always thought that Starchild was more of like an innocent like character and everything, but apparently now he knows how to kick butt. So, I'm going to be expecting whenever I'm playing against somebody like Rosalina and Starchild, I'm going to be expecting somebody to be kicking my butt because I want to see that happen. So, anyway... Next one we're going to be talking about is uh, Mario Kart 8 will be featuring a new flip technique uh, for boosting as well as the expected drifting for boosting. Uh, the hand gliders are back and they also have a new buggy cart uh, feature added to the game as well. And then finally, uh, the one that I was not even expecting which is Hyrule Warriors. Now, to me when I first heard the name Hyrule Warriors, I thought to myself, Legend of Zelda and Dynasty Warriors combined into one. And that's almost exactly what it is, except it's with Zelda enemies coming at you in a Dynasty Warrior style way. The game is going to be released in 2014 for the Wii U, and I don't know what else to say about it. It looks fantastic, but it's also like the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Like, Hyrule Warriors? I mean, it just sounds, it sounds really interesting, but it also sounds very very cool in its own way so guys tell me what you thought about the Nintendo Direct and as well as uh, are there any games that you wish that would have been in the Direct uh, I know that a lot of people were expecting Metroid but eventually guys I bet you we have one coming probably in E3 or something but anyway guys feel free to write down in the comments what you thought about the Nintendo Direct today and as well as uh, just your opinions on what you thought of the show and thanks again guys for watching and supporting weekly reviews this has been Weekly Reviews with Gamer Fusion telling you that Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming. Take care.